Elections for all positions in the Philippines above the barangay except for autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao regional level were held on May 10, 2010. The elected president is Benigno Noynoy Aquino, the 15th president of the Philippines, succeeding President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo who was barred from seeking re-election due to term restrictions. The successor of Vice President Noli de Castro is Jejomar Binay, the 15th Vice President of the Philippines. The legislators elected in the 2010 elections have joined the senators of the 2007 elections and comprise the 15th Congress of the Philippines. The 2010 election was administered by the Commission on Elections Comelec, in compliance with the Republic Act No. 9369, also known as the Amended Computerization Act of 2007. It was the first national computerized election in the history of the Philippines. Although there were cases of precinct count optical scan PCOS machine failures, there was no postponement of elections since most technical issues were resolved by election day. Despite the fact that some provinces have reported failure of elections, these have not surpassed the 0.50% of the total number of PCOS machines, and most were replaced on time. Local elections were held in all provinces, cities and municipalities for provincial governors, vice governors and board members, and city, municipal mayors, vice mayors and councillors. There were more than 85,000 candidates for 17,000 national and local positions and it is believed that the youth had the swing vote in this election as 40% of voters are 18 to 35 and there are a potential 3 million first-time voters. Background the current Philippine Constitution allows a president to serve for only one six-year term, however, former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo served for a total of nine years because she took over the last three years of Joseph Estrada's administration when Estrada was ousted as the result of the 2001 EDSA revolution. In 2004, Arroyo won the election and finished her six-year term in 2010. General Issues in a decision dated December 2, 2009, the Supreme Court ruled that appointive officials seeking positions in the elections do not need to resign from their posts, striking down Section 4 a of Comelec Resolution 8678, Section 13 of Republic Act 9369, and Section 66 of the Omnibus Election Code as unconstitutional. For violating the Equal Protection Clause and being too broad. Party switching As election day approached, several politicians switched political parties in order to gain votes and funding for the campaign. Many switches were controversial, with the ruling party Lacas Campi CMD having the most defections, most of which went either to the Liberal Party or to the Nationalista Party. The politicians who switched parties after the start of the local campaign period are Furthermore, Luis Chavit Singson resigned from Lacas and endorsed a candidate aside from Gilberto Teodoro, but did not join another party. Singson endorsed VR, then resigned from Lacas, but has not joined VR's nationalist party. Controversies Five days before the elections, petitions were made to postpone the elections due to technical malfunctions with the electronic voting machines. On May 7, 2010, the Supreme Court rejected the petitions, affirming the vote would go ahead as planned. Several cities and provinces encountered several problems, postponing the election. In Caloocan, voting was delayed as the box of ballots delivered to clustered precinct 599 in the city's Pajo district contained ballots for a clustered precinct in Sampaloc, Manila. Election related violence Prior to the end of the filing of certificates of candidacy, the Comelec had anticipated several areas to be named as election hotspots. On November 23, 2009, the entourage of the wife of Baluan, Maguindano Vice Mayor Esmail Mangudadatu who ran for provincial governor, including journalists, were abducted and killed in the province's town of Ampatuan. Before she was killed, Mangudadatu. S. wife blamed provincial governor Andal Ampatuan Jr. as the culprit. Ampatuan Jr. was later arrested. 
After several arms and military vehicles were seized in Ampatuan's properties and government installations, President Arroyo declared martial law in parts of the province not controlled by the Moro Islamic Liberation Front on December 4. On December 28, 2009, a candidate for councillor died, and two incumbent officials were wounded in an ambush in Dingras, Ilocos Norte. The gunman fired at the convoy including Barangay Chairwoman Joan Caniete, who was running for councillor under the Nationalist Party. The wounded included a sitting councillor and a provincial board member. In Sorsogon, Julio A. Squivias, a nationalista candidate for councillor in the town of Casiguran, died due to a gunshot wound after he was shot by an unidentified gunman. In a command conference by the Armed Forces of the Philippines, Philippine National Police and the Comelec, 14 election. Hotspots were identified. They were Abra, Ilocos Norte, Masbate and Nueva Ecija in Luzon, Samar, Western Samar, Eastern Samar and Antique in the Visayas, and Basilan, Sulu, Maguindano, Lanao del Norte, Lanao del Sur, Sarangani, and Zamboanga Sibugay in Mindanao. Worsening private armed violence was a serious security concern which had the capacity to undermine the 2010 elections. Even though a commission was already formed to dismantle private armies, skeptics were unconvinced that the government could have succeeded in this task as it had a poor track record of dealing with the ongoing problem of internal violence. Before election day, a bomb exploded at 1.20 a.m. in Ampatuan, Maguindano. No casualties were reported. In Concepcion, Iloilo, armed men fired at the Liberal Party headquarters. No casualties were reported. During election day, three bombs exploded at a polling precinct at Pakpak Elementary School in Marawi City, Lanao del Sur. No casualties or injuries were reported. Another bomb exploded in Zamboanga Sibugay, killing three people. Two bombs exploded at Mindanao State University where several polling precinct were clustered. An NK-2 grenade exploded at Sharif Aguac, Maguindano. No casualties reported. On the same day, at 12 o'clock nn, PST, a shooting incident happened in the same area between the rival candidates. Two innocent persons were killed. As of 1.30 p.m., PST, 14 casualties were reported due to election-related violence. At 2.25 p.m., PST, a shooting incident in a barangay in Maguindano caused the local cancellation of the elections. Constitutionality of the elections Many concerned civil society groups including the Center for People Empowerment and Governance CENPEG, Philippine Computer Society PCs, and Global Filipino Nation GFN, protested the illegality and unconstitutionality of how the elections were conducted, particularly with implementing safety measures against fraud and cheating. In an interim report by GFN 2010 Election Observers Team released on May 27 titled, Foreign Observers Challenge Election Legitimacy, they presented arguments questioning the May 10, 2010 election summarized below. The election results transmitted from the precincts do not have digital signatures of the Board of Election Inspectors BEI. The number of disenfranchised voters is sufficient to greatly affect the results of the elections. The automated election system AES, was implemented without the appropriate field testing, and law specified testing in actual elections. The source code review was not completed and initial findings were not addressed. No audit was done on the AES prior to the elections. There was only a mandated random manual audit which was not yet done at the time the report was written, May 27, 2010. Several voter and security features were disabled prior to elections. Many different groups also echoed the same sentiments like Kaakbe Party List in its critique of the May 10, 2010 polls. They also questioned the removal of digital signatures. Removal of digital signatures. While Republic Act 9369 states that the election returns transmitted electronically and digitally signed shall be considered as official election results and shall be used as the basis for the canvassing of votes and the proclamation of a candidate. The Commission on Elections COMELEC, issued Resolution 8786 on March 4, 2010 which became the basis for the decision to remove digital signatures which the COMELEC ruled as no longer necessary. 
Three Board of Election Inspectors BEIs, were originally required to put in their I-button key for the results to be digitally signed before transmission and make it official. But because of the issuance of Comelec Resolution 8786, BEIs were directed to press no when asked by the PCOS machines to digitally sign the files for transmission. In the joint committee meeting at Batasang Pambansa, Senator Enriel asked the Comelec officials why they removed the use of the digital signatures. Cesar Flores, Smartmatic Asia Pacific President, said the voting machine has a digital signature in itself which is also corroborated in the card and the password that is provided to the BEIs. The BEIs when they sign the password, they encrypt the result, and the result is digitally signed. Sik Kaakbe Party List released its critique of the election on June 6, 2010. The group cited complaints regarding the removal of main security features and verifiability of votes and also answered the arguments of those given by the Comelec officials. On March 4, 2010, Comelec issued Resolution 8786 dated March 4, 2010, essentially disabling the use of digital signatures. Thus, the electronically transmitted votes from the precincts no longer bear digital signatures. Several excuses were given by Comelec ranging from PCOS machine signatures being equivalent to digital signature, which of course is not true. Use of digital signature will require another P1 billion, as if digital feature is not included in the P7.1 billion contract, reducing transmission time. How less than one minute signing digitally will reduce much a transmission of about 30 to 60 minutes, and the PCOS I button and BEI personal identification numbers pins are equivalents of course not results reports indicated that the election day was marred with controversies particularly in the insurgent ridden province of mindanao though other provinces also faced difficulties such as computer glitches on the voting machines disorderly conduct vote buying and violence in Cebu City, spikes placed by unidentified men on the road caused a delay in the delivery of ballot boxes throughout the province of Cebu early Monday. A total of over 76,340 precinct count optical scanner PCOS machines, about 5,000 backup units, and about 1,700 servers were deployed in the country's first nationwide fully automated elections. From counting of votes to transmission and canvassing of election results. Election Day had live full coverage from GMA7 and ABS-CBN. Besides logistical problems, during the last few days prior to the election poll machine and services supplier Smartmatic Total Information Management TIM, found cases of PCOS machine failures. Nonetheless, it was decided not to postpone elections since the technical issues were resolved quickly and the solution could be deployed by the day of election. Despite the fact that some provinces reported issues in the election process, these did not surpass the 0.50% of the total number of PCOS machines, and most were replaced on time, as planned for. As a result of the delays, the Comelec extended voting hours from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. and continued through the night transmitting the votes from every precinct scattered across the country. After the elections closed and transmissions from PCOS machines began arriving en masse and the Comelec was able to publish the first partial results, many former doubts and concerns vanished, replaced by astonishment due to the unprecedented speed of the tally. President The presidential candidate with the greatest number of votes, Benigno Aquino III was declared the winner. A separate election was held for the vice president. The two elected officials need not be running mates in order to be elected. Vice President Congress Senate One half of the Philippine Senate was up for election. The Philippines uses the plurality at large voting system for the Senate race. House of Representatives all seats in the House were up for election, elections were done for legislative districts and party list. Asterisk there are more nominees listed in case one of the first three nominees are either disqualified or are removed from office. In some instances, the parties submitted two lists, in those the cases, the second list submitted is listed. Local 
Batangas Bohol Bulacan Marilao Maykayan Laguna Metro Manila Caloocan Makati Manila Marikina Navotas Quezon City Taguig Valenzuela Marinduque Mountain Province Tarlac Zamboanga City International reaction The United States and the European Union praised the Republic for the smooth elections. The U.S. Embassy was one of the first to hail the general elections. We look forward to a smooth transition and, after June 30, to working with the new Philippine government to deepen the friendship and partnership between our two nations, and to advance our common goals for the benefit of the Southeast Asia region and the world. Seeing the patience and the number of people turned in the elections, EU Ambassador Alistair MacDonald shared his experience and reflection in observing the Filipinos. I had the privilege of observing the electoral process in both Cavite and Batangas and was impressed by the manner in which this first nationwide automated election was conducted. Despite the intense heat, the long lines and the inevitable unfamiliarity of a new process, our observations suggested that this process was carried out smoothly, and the results transmitted rapidly, in the great majority of cases. McDonald also expressed that the EU was impressed for the elections being smooth, and, generally trouble-free. He also appreciated the teachers' hard work for the said elections. See also 15th Congress of the Philippines References External links Official website of the Commission on Elections Results Philippines 2010 Election Results, Main Site Philippines 2010 Election Results, Alternate Site PPCRV Map Viewer, PPCRV Encoded Site PPCRV Map Viewer, PPCRV Site NAMFREL 2010 Parallel Count, NAMFREL Site Halalan 2010, Latest Comelec Official Results, ABS CBN Site ELEKSYON 2010, National Election Results Tally, GMA Site ELEKSYON 2010, Regional Election Results Tally, GMA Site Auto Vote 2010, Presidential Election Results, Hatal Ng Bayan Site Auto Vote 2010, Vice Presidential Election Results, Hatal Ng Bayan Site Auto Vote 2010, Senatorial Election Results, Hatal Ng Bayan Site The Vote 2010 Election Results Tally, Bombo Radio Site